Alrighty, everybody, we are going live. Just want to double check on all the websites that everything's good, and it looks good. So Twitch is good, YouTube's good. Our notification went out to our Discord. That is awesome. Welcome everybody to episode two of the Panzer Nader pod, just the Panzer podcast. Quick note, there will be no chat showing up. Restream is all bleh right now, so I have it open on my window. I'll still be able to see what you're saying. Probably have Twitch and YouTube chat open, and that should be good. Still trying to raise money for my haircut. Just want to test out the little donation feature. So every, um, every stream, I'm going to try and do something different, or for the foreseeable future, add something new and ramp up. And today I have this. I have added a GIF. Yep, that is from the Bismarck video from Sabaton, and it looks awesome, and it'll be useful for World of Warships videos. So, as you can tell by the title, we went from harmless Aladdin movie review, everything is awesome type stuff, to we're going to get in the weeds today. We're going to talk about Christopher Columbus and the University of Notre Dame. Um, I, I went to Notre Dame, if you can't tell or have never watched before, it's kind of a place I went to school and uh, around what what happened so around January father Jenkins who by the way is like a just one of the my least favorite priests I've ever been to before so quick anecdote during our graduation mass he's handing out communion and he just kind of like slaps in a moment instead of you know they're supposed to say the body of Christ and put it in your hands he's like okay like, literally, like, mumbling, mumbling. So, first of all, in addition to being the worst communion distributor in the history of the Catholic Church or any or Christendom in general, Father Jenkins, around the start of the year, um, covered up some uh, Christopher Columbus murals. So, inside the main building, the Golden Dome, there are murals painted by a by, uh, Vatican portraitist, painter dude, not really sure the specifics, who painted a bunch of murals of Chris, depicting Christopher Columbus coming to the New World. He used the locals as, like, the basis, like, you know, the, like, well, uh, like the faces on the murals are, like, actual people from South Bend from the time, 134 years ago. And, but Father Jenkins, being a man with no spine, gave in to the mob. Um, I have linked below a bunch of uh, an article from the New York Post depicting it, and also video from PragerU and Michael Knowles gave a speech at Notre Dame defending Christopher Columbus and why you should not cover up the murals. So those are all linked down below. There will be more articulate and backed up than I. I just want to share with you. So basically, why? What is the reasoning? Uh, Jenkins says it hides the darker side of the story. Um, uh, thank God they're painted onto the walls instead of like pictures or else they would have been burned and thrown away by now. But that that's fine. Um, let's see, blah, blah, blah. He compared it to Notre Dame's version of a Confederate monument. I'll get to that later. Um, this is all in the article, but um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Columbus's arrival to the New World was nothing short of a catastrophe for the native people. And... Father Jenkins doesn't want to marginalize others, which is liberal talk for I am a tremendous pussy. I will do whatever you want. So here's the deal. It's a slippery slope, right? It started with the Confederate statues. The Confederates, some of the Confederate generals are dickheads. Some were like Robert E. Lee and just looked at a map and said, oh, I live in the South. I better not like, you know, fight for, you know, I better fight for the ground on which my, you know, where I live which is what 99.999% of people have done throughout of history. But no, uh, they defended slavery and all this valid stuff. And, you know, people like me are like, well, if you take down their statues, well, Washington and Jefferson are enslaved. Christopher Columbus enslaved people. Court, you know, colonists killed Indians and all of that. And it looks like, okay, it's just YouTube freezing up and people are like no no that's slippery slope argument the confederates are bad we'll stop at them no they're not gonna stop at them they can cover up the christopher columbus murals and yeah you can argue it's a slippery slope but once you start slippering the slope it's a slope slippery um what do people say genocidal racist evil blah 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 oppressive so first of all 
in the Western Hemisphere, Native Americans were not victims of genocide. We fought a we as in European colonists, the Europeans, and later the Americans, fought a bunch of wars against natives. These wars were lopsided. A lopsided war is not a genocide. When Mussolini invaded Ethiopia, it was not a genocide. It was a lopsided war. Cortez versus Montezuma. Lopsided war. Why was that war lopsided, by the way? Because, because Montezuma and the Aztecs were assholes, and all their vassals were like, you know what? Let's try something else out, right? And so, that's what they do. Wounded Knee, I mean, I read a book on Andrew Jackson, the Battle of New Orleans. The British literally paid the Creek Indians to, like, attack our settlements. So, it's not genocide. It's a lopsided war. Second of all, the disease stuff. Who could have seen that coming? It's 1492. Come on, people. People t didn't understand stuff. Like, the plague had just happened. It thought it was because they offended God. Like, that. No. You know, nowadays, like, you know, we send people to the moon and keep them in quarantine because we're not sure there's diseases and then realize there's no diseases on the moon. So we don't quarantine. Well, no one's gone to the moon since the 70s. If you believe that at all, conspiracy theories, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, lopsided wars are not genocide. And people may say, why are you caught up on this? This is not an issue. This is a bad thing to get involved in. Um... Why fight the war about the Columbus murals? And I'm here to tell you something. The Confederate statues were not a war. They're part of a battle. They are a battle. Whether or not to take them down, that debate. The Columbus murals is not a war. It's part of a battle. I'm shaking a pin at you. I'm very intent on this. This is a battle against Western civilization, Christianity, all the good things that we know and love and make our societies free and allow us to have the freedom, like freedom of speech, to say dumb shit like or the revisionist history statement that Columbus was evil and racist and should have should have his murals taken down. Now, I, I want to take a little side note here. If Columbus lived today and did the things he did in 1492, 500 years later, 1992, or, you know, 500 something years later, yeah, he'd be a racist. He'd be probably a pariah and evil man but we cannot judge people by modern standards because guess what in a couple hundred years maybe even less than that you will be judged for doing something absolutely barbaric or terrible or evil that the world just doesn't look at anymore i mean let's go to the bible I, i'm us catholics we're not the best bible thumping people but Genesis chapter 6, verse 9. This is the account of Noah. Noah was a righteous man, blameless among the people of his time. It didn't say Noah was blameless. Among the people of his time. This is the standard we have to use. Columbus, among his time, wasn't all that bad. Was he bad by modern standards? Absolutely. Everyone, I'm willing to bet everyone from 1490, hell, everyone from like the 1940s is bad in our time. I mean, they're going after Churchill for the same thing. So, whatever. Overall, Columbus did a good thing. He brought Christianity to the New World. The European, you know, colonizing the New World was overall a good thing for the world. Why? What, what happened during World War II? Europe was screwed. Japan was taking over the Western, you know, over Europe, and America came to save us all. Sold guns to the Soviets, helped the British out, or not from the New World, the Nazis would have taken over World War II. Is this a stretch of an argument? Absolutely. Not, not really. I mean, not really. I mean, one of the best arguments I've heard for why is it a good thing the North won the Civil War, I mean, all Western nations were rid of slavery by 1900 for the most part. The South have gotten rid of slavery too, and I, I believe that. Why? Because a united America, United States of America, was able to fight the world wars. Divided America would not have been able to do that. Um, also, an issue with this thing. The murals are in the Golden Dome. No one goes in the Golden Dome ever. Students never go there. No one ever saw these. It's not like it's you know, it's not like the it's not like the touchdown Jesus mural that everyone walks in front of and takes a picture of. These are a bunch of paintings inside a building that no one goes inside of. Um, no one goes to the Golden Dome. And in the article, it said that there had been complaints about complaints about this for 20 years. You know what that means? Father Jenkins has been president of Notre Dame for 20 years. Muck Malloy did not care, or did not care, or knew that these were just pointless complaints and these people should be ignored. And guess what? 
The Liberal Arts Building is named in front after Monk Malloy. Malloy Hall is where all the useless professors with their safe spaces are at Notre Dame. So it's not like Malloy's a bastion of conservatism like, you know, others. Um, I mean, come on. And it, I think the article said something like 340 parents, students, teachers, blah, 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 wrote an art, wrote to um, oppose it. Guess what? The University of Notre Dame is 3,000 graduates a year. Everyone is two parents. 3,000 gets to 9,000, 12,000. Like, that is such a tiny minutia of the Notre Dame community. And you're going to give in to the mob, that small of a mob. I mean, our arguments, this line of thinking has led to arguments that Notre Dame, we should change our mascot away from fighting Irish. If, like, a few Irish people are offended by the little dude doing this and all that, do we change our logo? No. Fuck off. Same thing with the people who want the Columbus Rules now. Fuck off. Your view of history is wrong and twisted. You're judging people of the past by modern standards, which is not fair. And guess what? It'll be done to you, and you will look as evil as Columbus does to us. Which, to me, you know what? It's, I'm not saying he's perfect. I'm not saying he's close to perfect. I'm not even saying he's good. I'm saying his actions were the resulted in good things, and these murals should not be covered up. I don't think statues shouldn't come down, murals shouldn't come up, cover up. Here's one. You shouldn't burn books. I mean, come on, people. And this just shows Jenkins is a horrible university president, especially compared to his predecessors. Monk Malloy, kind of everyone forgets about, but let's look at Father Hesburgh. During the Vietnam War, Two major protests. Soren Hall seceded from the university to protest the Vietnam War. Did Father Hesburgh change his views or do something in the university? He did do something in the university. He shut off Soren's power and water until they gave up the act and rejoined, rejoined the university. Another time, there were a bunch of people protesting the Vietnam War in the same hallway where all these murals are. And Father Ted walked outside of his office, leaned down over the balcony. There's like a little, you know, under the rotunda, there's like circular balconies and so he looked down at the people on the main floor where the columbus murals are and he said anyone here in 10 minutes when i come out my office again is getting expelled no one was there he was a hard ass he didn't put up with his nonsense all these attention hungry people trying to save the world by covering up some pictures come on get a life people it's so stupid um i mean no what's one of the biggest student groups at notre dame the knights of guess what Columbus. Who do you think that's named after? District of Columbia. Columbia, South Carolina. Columbus, Ohio. I mean, he's an important guy. He did a lot of good things. I mean, he adopted natives as his own when his friends, their parents, yes, oh, the evil racist who made friends with the natives when he was there. Yeah, he adopted their kids whenever they died or if they were, if they died in some horrible cause. I mean, there's just, leads to the question, who's next? And if if you want more articulate arguments of what I'm saying, please watch the videos in the description. Please do. The Prager you wants only five minutes. It's Steven Crowder. He does it with a little bit of humor. It doesn't take too seriously. Michael Knowles at Notre Dame. I mean, phenomenal speaker, a phenomenal place, a fun ballroom. Uh, wish I could have been there in person. Um, had I been a student, I would definitely would have been there. But you cannot revise history. Columbus was a good man for 1492, and we should think of him as such. Not as a horrible person in 2019, but a great man in the 1490s and early 1500s. He discovered the new world. Ooh, Leif Erikson. Okay. People love to point out Leif Erikson to kind of make fun of Columbus. Had the Vikings aggressively colonized the new world as, you know, or colonized the new world as the Europeans did, you want to talk about lopsided warfare and genocide? I mean, the Vikings. And people would be like, Ugh. they just built a couple houses and left and didn't do a whole lot. Didn't even know or may not have even known he'd found a new world. Columbus. I mean, he's a great man who did great things. You should never cover up paintings or stuff. Um, to quote Indiana Jones, it belongs in a museum. The main building might as well be a museum. I mean, it's the admissions office, the office of the president, which hopefully will be occupied by someone with a pair of balls at some point who doesn't give in to these liberal SJW mobs. I mean, at, who's next? Is Father Soren next? We already see them going after T Jefferson and Washington. 
Are they going to go after FDR? Are they going to go after Martin Luther King for sleeping around in addition to the civil rights stuff? I mean, who's safe? Who's, are they going to go after Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton for formerly having a traditional view of marriage? I don't know where it ends, and this is why. I mean, you have to hold the line. We have – we – reasonable people. And I think most of the people watching this will be reasonable people. We play historical video games. If you have a knowledge of history, you realize, yeah, Columbus was a good guy for his time. The Bible, you know, good for his time. That's how we have to look at people. That's how we have to look at the world. That's how we look at, have to look at history. And that's how we can know that despite the fact that nowadays, some of the things they did may not be the best that, Winston Churchill, Christopher Columbus, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Robert E. Lee, and a litany of others that will be under attack, have been under attack, and soon will be under attack. We have to hold the line. You can't give uh, an inch because if we, we, we need to stop them at the Confederate statues, stop them at Columbus and Washington, or else these SJW PC types will just keep going. You, they shall not pass. It's what the French said at Verdun. That's what I'm saying now. Uncover the murals. Get a new president at Notre Dame. Stop tearing down statues. They shall not pass. We will judge people by their time so that hopefully one day people will look at us in regards to our time and not to the future standards that will inevitably consider us all social pariahs, evil men, racist, sexist, bigot, homophobe. Six herb. Sexist, Islamic... Islamophobic and uh, xenophobic, herb, homophobic, intolerant, bigoted, whatever. Six herb. Dennis Prager saying. Um, so yeah, no one's here. Any questions? Anybody didn't think so? Let's go into happier stuff and play some Surviving Mars, shall we? Ah, I hope I hope this really does help y'all. I hope you know. I don't want to come across as again. I'm not defending. I'm not defending Christopher Columbus by modern standards. I'm saying we can't change the standards. We can't move the goalpost. If you were a good man back then, we'll consider you a good man now. Okay. This is where the fun automatic login. Okay. So. Let's calm down a little bit. Let's have some fun, shall we? That was serious, but... Uh, 17 minutes. That's about the time I wanted. Okay, let's uh, start a new game. Skip. I know that I know how to play the game. Skip the tutorials. Panzer will inevitably not know how to play the game. So there we go. That was not as articulate as I wish it would have been, but I do what I can. So let's see. All right, uh, mission sponsor: Terraforming Initiative. Terraforming texture fifty percent. First, the God of Thunder. I love how everyone shows up after I'm done with the political talk. But anyway, so welcome Thor, God of Thunder. Um, I crash tiny Talos. So what is this? Four station plants that require power. This makes it a lot easier, but you know what? Um, Church of the New York, that'd be, arc, that'd be funny. America. International Mars mission. Increased rocket payload. Hmm, blue sun, space watch. Who should we pick? Rare metal price, 20, 25. Let's see. I crash you. Thank you for crashing me. Let's do the Terraforming Institute. Commander profile, geoengineer. Ooh, vistas and research sites. There we go. Um, let's do that. Mystery, or I did Beyond Earth. We'll do random. There we go. Rival colony, okay. Um, oh, okay. Game rules. No tear. Oh, that's awful. Let's not do that. Um, what do we want? Easy, free, increased iron colonists. No disasters. You know, let's let's just passenger rocket only once. Winter's coming. You know, let's just um overfunded. Achievements are disabled. Let's let's just not do any of this. Let's go next. Um, oh, look, we're <laughs> green. Uh, look at our green stuff. Um, what do you want? I want more orbital probes. Okay. I want another orbital probe. Uh, these are like easy, right? Let's find one with... I want a lot of resources. 
rotate. Um, it's as many resources that we're going to get, so let's start it. Or, you know, I kind of want, I want a flat one, a flat site. Hold up, let's do some little research. Um, let's pull up our window, surviving the I uh, flat map. Um, 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 um. Let's look for something recent, November 2018. Uh, okay, let's just try these coordinates. Two north, 21 west. Let's try it. Um, two north, 21 west. Apparently this is flat. This, this doesn't look like it's going to be flat. Whatever, we'll start. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Just try not to try not to kill anyone. But yes, Thor got a thunder. What should we do? Welcome to Mars. Okay, so here we go. Let's try and let's try not to suck. Let's get some orbital pro. Oh my god, we're in a freaking crater. I kind of like this. Oh, it's a lot of water. I like it. Okay. Okay, let's um, zoom in. And where do we want to build? I want to build... Let's build right here. So we'll um, pause. Terraforming introduction. To terraform Mars and create Earth-like environments for colonists, you have to gradually increase the floor globally and blah, blah, blah. Research a terraforming technology. Okay, terraforming buildings. Okay. Martian vegetation researched. Ah, yeah, there we go. So, this is part of our mission profile. Um, seeds are stored, specialized, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I know this. Capture ice astero asteroid. We need fuel and... Okay, we could do that. What can we reach? So, we have this. Interplanetary projects. What's our breakthrough? Okay, what do we want? Research provide. Okay, we need that first. One, two. I think we should just go straight across, probably. So there we go. Um, research for soul. We got some anomalies. Okay. So here we go. Radio. What radio do we want? Red Frontier. Let's, um, Mars Vision. Let's do Mars Vision. I haven't heard this one. New update, landscaping tools. Okay. This all looks a lot different. I have not played in a long time. I love how our building is green. RC Dozer. Okay, so. Do we literally only have an RC Dozer? His beast. Okay, so we got a. We can do a drone hub. Yeah, I want to get all of these in the drone hub. Let's build a drone hub right here. Let's build... We need power. Okay, we got some Mars vision. That's interesting. Um, there we go with that. Let's build... Let's build our Sterling generators right here. Okay, y'all are going to have to help me with this game because I do not... Okay, production buildings. We have a fuel refinery. Fuel from water. We brought no moisture evaporators. That's fantastic. Let's um, see. Depot. Universal Depot. Large dumping site. Okay, so we have dome still. It's all coming back to me. It all, it all is. And I think this this actually this menu looks a lot nicer. Outside decorations. Landscape, okay. Small rock formation rock formation. So we can like build okay, that's pretty cool. Ramp. Flatten. Terraforming. 
Four Station Plant, GHG Factory, Capital City. Okay, so what do we want to do? Do we not have any metals? Let's build... We need to build depots. That's what we're going to do first. Let's do all of this. Let's put some space between all of this. Let's do metals. Concrete. Just build depots for everything, shall we? Let's not build a universal depot. I don't like those. Food. Okay, so it wants us to do vegetation, but we'll do that later. We're just building all the depots. Machine parts. Fuel. And finally, seeds. I want to make this like look good. So maybe we can like destroy this. How do we destroy this? So let's get fuel and machine parts. Machine parts. And let's get the fuel. And let's get a large dumping site right here. There we go. Drone hat. Okay, vegetation parameter represents spreading and blah blah blah. Okay. So we, how many, you have how many drones? You have two, you have four. So we can open all the Sterling generators. All right, let's uh, start getting some resources. First of all, let's build a concrete extractor. Well, what do we need to build a concrete extractor? Five metals, two machine parts. What do you have on board? You have some machine parts. Okay. Okay. So we don't. We we only really brought. We didn't bring a whole lot. Okay. I like this. I like the music. The music's good. So. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What are people snapping? People are done with school and all that. People are done with school. Congratulations to my cousins. Done with all that. Oh, oh. I'm like, we have five billion funding? Nice. No, we don't have that much funding. Okay. So, we need to build stuff like sensor towers. Well, aren't we about to get a tech that sensor towers? Autonomous sensors. Okay. That's not bad. Uh, landing pad. Okay, so we don't have a whole lot of stuff. We're unloading the rocket. Okay. So what do we have in what what do we have here? We have consumed seeds. Consumes power and fuel. Okay. So we have some prefab GHG buildings. Let's get a water extractor. Alright, so let's build this right here. Let's build some pipe. Well, we don't, we don't have pipes yet. But let's build some cables from here. Still like that. There we go. We really should have gotten more metals. Okay, what can we get? Ooh, we could get a supply pod. RC Commander brings drones. I want to explore. Let's launch that. Let's get another supply pod and this one with a RC transport. I don't really like RC. Eh, okay, I like RC transports. Launch. Oh, 
Let's see, what else? We want more supply pods. I want some more metals. Seriously, it costs us that much to send tin metal? Whatever. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Okay, I, know, I understand how seeds work. Okay. So here we go. So we have a big map. It's kind of a dust storm. Alright, so let's get... We have a prefabricated <coughs> fuel refinery. Well, first of all, this has a big dust radius, like up to here. A concrete extractor is going to have some dust, too. So this will definitely get all the concrete here. Let's do that. Let's build a cable connection. There we go. So you have range on all of that. Okay, we're we're getting there. We are getting there. Now of course we would want to is there any way for me to show like all of the extractor nonsense? So like if I were to build like a water tower right here. I don't everything's gonna be really compact here. That's how I build. That's how I think I build. There we go. So we're getting started on all of this. I love the music. What do y'all think? I love the music. So, we're building stuff. Can you like speed up? Okay, I understand the terraforming special projects. Thank you. What else do you have on you? Nothing. So you bring stuff and things. All these pods. Okay, so if we right click, it opens the build menu. That's good to know. Domes. Home. So this needs seeds. We, for, is, um, ranch. Okay, wait, wait, hold up. These new buildings. Okay, we know how hydroponics forms, but ranch. Outside ranch. Ooh. Okay, so that that goes outside domes. Hydroponics farm and then a, a ranch. Okay, so the ranch consumes consumes oxygen and water depending on animal type. Okay, so you have a lot of water. So we can make rocket. I like how everything is going to be green for us. Drones. Can you like select all your drones and assign them to here? Change priority. Salvage. Drones. I want you to reassign to here. Alright, so you have six drones, you have none. So you need concrete and machine parts. You need metals. You need metals. So basically, we just need metals. Metal! Let's go! So you have a bunch of water around here. We are going to want to get the water out of the ground. An amendment to the Christian Bible Let's get 37 power. Okay. This is all good. We are doing a okay if you were to ask me. So what do you do? You carry waste rock. Okay. I don't care what you do. You can do whatever you want. Power. 
Act around for reassignment. So he didn't bring any concrete with us, which seems to be very stupid. But we're about to get a concrete extractor very soon. Should be good. Okay. Global parameter of water. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand the global parameters. Mostly. I think. So we have a giant crater. Man, we we don't we don't get a lot of research, do we? It's all good. So we want to get our fuel production up and running, though. So if we were to put like a fuel refinery, do we were to put it like right here. Okay, look, we have something that can do stuff. Watch this. Watch out. Let's watch this. How does this work? Does this like parachute? Oh, what's this? Hold up. It's like Elon Musk. Controlled descent. Whee! Let's, let's land these puppies. What the hell? Oh. So you're an RC explorer. Let's uh, explore. So I want to get... Oh yeah, we get medals by sending these. That's nice. What? What is this? Must be connected to a water producer. Well, we need concrete for that. And we have concrete production going. Love it. Wonderful. Dunk. So you, what I want you... Can I like, tell you to automatic... Load resources, move, interact. I want you to load resources... Actually, yeah, load all of these. Do, 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 do. This, this ain't bad. This is not half bad. Let's load resource. Let's load up all this stuff. Research cooperation. A new deep tape, new deep space telescope will be launched to scan the cosmos from a point even further out than Mars. The company behind the telescope, Lambda Industries, has partnered with our sponsor to share the financial burn of the deep space launch. Our sponsor, not to waste opportunity to help their most ambitious project, say the splitting of the launch bill will basically pay for a single supply pod that can fill with cargo of our choosing. Ten orbital probes. Some extra re resources, a new RC transport. Let's get the let's get the uh, orbital payload. Nothing. So let's just drop this right here, and let's go up. Let's use these ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, what the hell is this? Vista. Oh, wait, what? Improves the comfort of all residents when in the radius of a dome. Okay. Got a little supply pod here. Blow it up. So we got a bunch of anomalies. So you're researching anomalies. That's good. Can we build this, please? Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I just I shut off Twitch chat. I'll bring Twitch chat back. So you have a bunch of new anomalies. Let's get these resources. So I like the change. I don't know when they made it, but basically if a concrete extractor's over a deposit, it doesn't like it. It doesn't have to just be over like the part of the ground where it's painted. Just has to be over the logo, which I think is good. I think that's very good. 
I was gonna build a fuel refinery before I got distracted. So like here. So I build it on this thing. And we can get like a Let's see, let's get let's get the water first from this pipe. There we go. And then we'll get the cable to follow it. Look at that. Okay. So we have our fuel refinery. Well, first of all, we need the water. High priority. We need water, like, ASAP. We have a transport. Oh, wait, do you automatic? Are you automatic? Research complete. Okay. Milestone so we got anomaly. We scan an anomaly. That's good. Now you should go look at this anomaly. So we completed the Earth Mars initiative, which means we get 200 research per soul. We doubled our research speed, which is good. So I just, hell yeah, I'm a botanist. Fear my botany powers, the Martian. The Martian's great. What is this? Drones work faster on landscaping projects. If geometry is dressed in a suit coat, topology dons the jeans and a t-shirt. Two plants, one human race, sharing the knot. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for quotes. So nothing fun. For in the true nature of things, we rightly consider every green tree is far more glorious than if it were made of gold and silver. Martin Luther. Not a big fan of that guy. But, you know, important in world history. Vegetation is the basic instrument the creator used to set all nature in motion. And if you want to lift yourself up, lift some up someone else. Booker T. Washington. That's a good quote. There we go. So what were we done? You're not doing anything. We need more drones, that's for sure. So we have some vistas here. Okay, so that provides a comfort boost. So you are unloading all of the metal. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, look, we're building the water, we're building the fuel. This is good. So then we'll get this going. Look at that. So you need water. And we have water! Look at us. Okay, you need to go like pick up stuff. Right? Gather resources. Why are you not And all camera. How do I change the look of this? Like, isn't there a way to change the look of it? Turn to Earth. Send on expedition. I could salvage the rocket. Let's not do that. Let's not salvage a rocket. <coughs> what? Incoming. Guys, is that a meteor? Probably a meteor. Okay, so that's pretty good. Oof, that's some metals we can pick up. Isn't that nice? All right, so we do have a bunch of metals around, which is very good. So we got some water. Storing some water. Now I guess what we would want next would be a moxie. What is this? Uh, no protection during dust storms. If we were to build a moxie right here, snug in this, 
And then we were to build an oxygen tank. We don't want to build the oxygen tank there. Right there. Yep, okay, there we go. So we'll get some oxygen. Production, we'll get some uh, water production. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get a dome. I like the way things are going. What are we running low? Well, we're producing fuel. Producing concrete, have a good bit of metals. Power's good. Life support's coming along. Rare resources, we're gonna have to get cranking on. So, there we go with all that. You're refueling slowly but surely. You're loading up with stuff. Good, 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 good. We probably could go at another speed. We do like control one. So you're analyzing this. Ooh, you're almost done analyzing it. What do we have here? New text. So we have new text available for research. There we go. Now you need to go where? Right here. Scan that anomaly. So let's get all this built. The metal production. Damn, these things are. So I'm playing on speed one, that's why. But you know what? I want to take it nice and easy, relax a little bit. So, for example, we could do like a greenhouse gas factory. Could put it right here. So we don't want to build anything within this range, or this range. So we want to build kind of away from the resources, so maybe like out this way. So let's do something like, um, let's go along that line, let's build a cable. If we're to build like a power cable like this. We can go like one more. Okay, that's pretty cool. Now let's build. What's our fuel production? We have 12 fuel per soul. And these each consume one per soul. Welcoming you back to the Mars Vision Song Contest. I think this looks like the cooler side. Let's build. Let's build these. Let's do it. Build some. Build our greenhouse gas factories. And a four-station plant does what? Would you look at that? Okay, let's just build these. Uh, do we want to put something like in that? Like maybe we could put like a itty bitty solar panel. There we go. So we need more drones. Really, that's one of the things we need. You're analyzing that. Look at that. Okay, so we have a Moxie. You consume. You only consume power? I thought the Moxie required water. Well, how about that? Okay. I'm thinking we're getting close to the first dome type stuff. So we were to put this here. We put like a drone. Okay, so we got a not autonomous sensors. Okay, that's good. So we can build sensors. So what I want is I want a supply pod with a RC commander. I 
Does it come with drones? Okay. This does this come with drones? Let's just try it. Launch. Let's see what we can do. Because I would like to build like on the edge, so right here. Pointing at my screen is very reliable. Boom, sensor tower. Can't do one in that corner, but we can right here. Wait, this probably messes it up, doesn't it? Okay, so we need to scan sectors. Got some anomalies. What do I have here? Greenhouse Mars. You can warm Mars up over time with greenhouse gases. Thank you, Elon. Drones work faster on landscaping projects, blah, blah, blah. We'll worry about this later. Oof. That didn't look fun. So in this corner, right there. Okay. And then in this corner, we build, I don't want one of these, I want one of these. Too far, too far, too far, boom. Oh, you have an, oh yeah, we have an explore. Let's explore the anomalies. I want to launch you very soon. Put you in high priority. The music in this game is phenomenal. What buildings are not working? Oh. Needs fuel. Eh. What I... I brought a drone RC. Can we... Can I cancel that? No, I can't. It's it's in flight all the way to Mars, and of course I can't cancel it. It's not how the force works. Hopefully, it brought more drones though. So we need more fuel, basically. It's fair. So we go do planetary view, capture ice. Colony of China. Okay. Colony of International Mars mission. We got Space Y. There, what's up, Elon? Our colony. Import greenhouse gases. Interesting. Okay. So we've got some stuff here. Oh yeah, you need to unload all these metals. So you want to start thinking about building another dome. Dome, 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 dome. Putting sensor towers on the edge of everything. Got some waste rock. We're doing okay. We are doing all right. I just don't think we're producing enough. Um, I'm gonna turn these off for now. Let our fuel build up. So what else do we have? We have. We have outside decorations. One small step for man. Oh, I like the flags. It's gonna waste a lot of resources on flags later on. So we need seeds. Palmer's we need we need to get the colonists in here. 
So let's see. I like this area. Thing is, we only have basic dome, self-sufficient dome. Huh. Place of falling buildings. So what I need? Wait. Let me read this. Moisture farming. Build moisture evaporator to get prefabs from Earth. Huh. Interesting. So a basic dome. Do a micro dome. Barrel dome. Can you grow? We could grow seeds in a hydro farm. Okay. So I want you to gather resources. You know there's more to the barren and Okay. It's even a one time grant. More applicants. Rockets and shells require less fuel, that'd be nice. Okay, low G. Okay. We need you to scan that anomaly. And we're doing just fine on everything else. We're going to build like a super colony right here. Where these vistas are. That's what we're going to do. But for now, this is like going to be the heart of our colony. We need a dome. I really like barrel domes. Also, yeah, drone commander. So the barrel dome is what? More space, but no spire. Not enough power. So we want to build more power production first. But I do like the idea of putting it right here. In the edge. So you came with some domes. With some drones. So all of you. Okay. Didn't really need that, but whatever. I'll put your service area down. And then could I build sensor towers right here? Because I wanna wanna do that. Good. Okay. So we have that. We have all this. I want to build like a landing pad. So the trade pad does what? Resources for export to other colonies on Mars. Send trade offers only. Import. Ex da, da, da. Okay. Pretty decent. Little tunnels. Large wind turbines. That's kind of cool. Batteries. Power switch. So hopefully, we get the one where we can mine without the people. Living quarter. This is a small little house. Oh, that's cute. What's up, Aiden? I love ads when going into the stream. Hello, Panzer. Hello. We're trying to survive Mars. 
Not sure how we're doing. I think we're doing fine. Is this refueling? It is refueling. I would like to produce more fuel, more water. But for now, for now we're doing good. Okay. So we need more power, right? Well, shouldn't a GHG factory, instead of consuming power, shouldn't this produce power? Like, you're burning stuff. I mean, it's not working now. There were no secrets to find near the anomaly site. Ooh. Just a scene of breathtaking beauty. Okay. So we got a, that. Let's keep scanning the anomalies, shall we? So you have Mars Vision going. You have you loading up on stuff. Could we put like a... So let's see. I want to do this all nice and coordinated. So if we were to build a drone hub like this. Hold up, put him right here. Put him right there. <coughs> this whole geometric thing is dude. Oof, good luck, man. Found that sounds like a daunting task. My, my friend, my friend. Yeah, you should have heard me. I mean, daunting task was me talking about something political earlier. Needs power, Panzer. I understand he needs power. I just am thinking about power. Okay, what do we have to generate power? You require machine parts. You only work during the day. You require polymers. Hmm. <coughs> Let's see. What does it cost to build a dome? I want to build a barrel dome. 50, not quite. 20 polymers? Polymer factories need pe Oh my god. I need to bring in polymers. Don't I? You Can you go back? Hurry up. All right, where's our research? Let's um put you up. Hydrosynthesis. Drone swarm. Okay. Okay. A. Yep. yep. So we don't have enough polymers. Polymer maintenance. Ah, yes, I do need polymers. Yeah, those buildings are turned off as they should be. They're gonna take forever. Hold up. Supply pod. How many polymers can we bring? 25. Let's do it. I love the supply pods. I love just dropping them down. Be like, yeah, um, we're, we'll help. Let's bring you like here. Right, everybody hop on board we got the RC commander get out the way let's research all this stuff and hopefully we can actually get some rockets going home I really hope we get the breakthrough 
I like how I dominate most of your chat. It has to get boring just looking at my profile pic. It's more boring when you're not here, I'll tell you that. It is more boring when people are not here. Anomaly analyzed. Okay, so we have new text. There's more to the bar. Product Okay. Probes are cheaper and can deep scan. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, scan the anomalies. That's what we need to do. Alright, so that that is coming. That is coming. So the barrel... Okay, let's plan out what we want to do. Barrel dome, 20 polymers. Consumes 15 power, which we have. One oxygen, one water, which we also have. Consume maintenance is one polymer. Okay, so inside that we want this Which requires metals for maintenance, which is good consumes five power Which is pretty much all our power So we're gonna need more power obviously But mainly we just want to get we want to get our food production go We want to get some colonists. We want to get some food production. We want to get some basic stuff you need prefab parts to make a polymer factory. I also think polymer factories require... First of all, we need the, we need the tech to even have... We could... We could probably buy it. Can we buy a prefab one? We could. But I thought polymer factories required colonists to work. Which... It would be... Which is going to be an issue for us. Alright, so... Oh, you're full. I wish, can I, I wish I could, is there a way to set transporters to like auto get stuff? You know what I mean? If, does that make any sense to anyone? Dude, it saves a lot of time and money. But, but do the, does the polymer factory need the colonists, right? That's my question. This is fuel from fuel from water, and you're taking all of our fuel. I'm only here. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Let's look up. Let's look it up real quick. Surviving Mars Polymer Factory. Surviving Mars. Oh God. I've never played the game though, so I'm not sure. Polymer Factory. Let's look at the Gamepedia. Uh, workers. Yeah. It, it does it does require workers. So that is unfortunate. How I only heard of it a month ago. Really? There you go. Let's um Let's get that Polymer Factory prefab though. Let's do it. I like how we're just sending all these probes and using them to get the metals. I think that's great. How do we queue stuff up? Is it shift? There we go. So we can like queue stuff up. This is nice. Okay. So he queued up all the anomalies, which is good. You need to gather resources. Do, do. This, I like how this is just our dumping ground, just all of these probes. It's kind of neat how they do, like, they're like the sky crane looking or whatever. Nice little crater you got there, Panzerkampf wagon. I know, I just googled, like, surviving Mars flat map, and I'm like, this doesn't look like it's going to be flat. And the reason it's flat is it's in the bottom of a crater. I am thoroughly convinced whenever we terraform, we are going to be, we are so gonna be like in the middle of the water. We also have a space Y, we have Elon Musk right next to us. Contact, Elon! Greetings, Commander. I wanna exchange technologies. Um, I could insult him. 
Colony of International Mars Mission. International, okay. Colony of China. Okay, they look Chinese. That's good. That's good. So everyone's on that side of the planet. No one's on this side. This must be where the ocean's going to be. Could capture an ice asteroid, which wouldn't help. Import Green Horse House. Green Horse Gershers. Eh. Nocturnal Adaptation. What is this? That's fine, but I want the ones where things work without the colonists. Come on. They'd better, or... Yeah. It's good. It's good that, you know, the demographics reflect their demographics. So we have a dozer, which means we can, like, flatten stuff, right? Let's see. I want to make sure we get big domes first, because I want to build, like, our domes and our main dome, like, city in this area. Maybe we'll build, like, a barrel dome here and build another one, like, here. Cover that up. But for now, we need a barrel dome. Which, actually, let's get, let's just get started on the barrel dome, shall we? I like barrel. Oh, the micro dome doesn't require polymers. No capacity for a spire. We could do like a micro dome. I'm Edward O. Martian, and you're listening to Mars Vision Radio, the bringer of the Mars Vision Song Contest. Don't miss out. Keep listening. Huh. We could put this like right here. Sector scan. Anomaly. We could definitely do that. Hold up. Anomaly found. Shift. Wait, wrong one. Shift. Scan. Have you ever played Chrono Trigger? No, I have not. And our polymers are here. That's good. Kaplunk. Alright, so you gathered up those resources. What about, like, for some metals? Y'all ready? You ready for this, Aiden? Have you, have you seen one of these pods? Look at this, it's like a little sky crane. We. I don't know why it just doesn't land. Instead it just kind of goes like bloop. 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 Would you look at that? Alright, scrap it. A couple metals here. So we have the polymers. I'm thinking we may might be able to do like a cool design with the small domes. Or we might just do a barrel dome. We do like a barrel dome like this. And use that as the basis for it. Let's do it. Mars Vision Song Contest. Let's build the dome! Make them pay, make make Elon pay for it. And let's build our nice little pipe. It's old SNES RPG game, and widely regarded one of the best RPG games ever made. Ah, there you go. Well, here we go. We have that. Think about setting a pot with more drones. Might be a good idea. If we do like, if we put you like right here, will your dudes collect all the stuff and do that thing, Majig? Also, let's build a landing infrastructure. Definitely here. Landing pad. EC. Anomaly analyzed. We just found the wreckage of Phobos 2. Oh, look at that. The old probe even had some new data for us to analyze. On July 7th, 1988, the Soviet Union launched two Proton-K rockets carrying the Phobos 1 and Phobos 2 probes on a course to Mars. Of the two craft, only Phobos 2 reached its final destination, but contact with it was lost support to deliver its precious payload. Mankind will forever be grateful for the information salvaged from its computer. We added a new anomaly. So let's do that. 
Add that. Okay, so we got that. See, heavy drone load, I I completely agree. So let's um You're going like right here, that's fine. A silver tongue does I ever see. Me? What does silver tongue mean? Am I too afraid to ask? So, we're gonna get our polymer factory. Come on, you're here. Here we go. Ready? Bloop. Why don't y'all get the metals and help build this? What the hell are you doing? Or are you going to do a waste rock pile? You know what? I don't know what the hell's going on. Bloop. Yeah, where's your damn polymer factory? Means you're tripping up on your words and Old Norse expression. Ah. Yeah, that, that sounds like me, alright. Tripping up on my words. Yeah, let's make the Mork as far away from the dome as possible. No. Is this a little too crowded? Maybe. Maybe we don't build that there. Uh, we could build the polymer factory. Like right here. like that build a cable let's build a pipe there we go so we're building stuff slowly but surely part of me wants to order just a bunch of drones in a pod you're making that polymer factory dance. Yes, I am. All right, are we almost done with that tech? Oh, we're not even to this tech. It takes five souls to research something. We're going to order some more drones. Supply pod. Drones. We're going to order eight drones. And in addition to that, we need... Let's get five electronics. Let's roll on that. Let's do it. Get more drones. We'll sign them there. And we'll use this barrel dome to make some kind of cool little city-looking thingy here. All right, hurry up, and, uh, hurry up and analyze all the anomalies so we can get things moving faster. But yeah. That's exactly what we're going to do. Maybe we can get this in range of both the metal stuff, the metals. You're still loading metals, that's fine. A little closer. Right? Perfect. So now they're in range of these metals and the metal location. And we have our polymer factory and it needs to be connected to everything, but whatever. Whatever. We could go faster, but I feel like we just need to be more strategic with this game. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, heavy drone problem. I know. What's well, not working? Of course it's not working. There's no fuel. Turning it off. 
for now. Not until we need, not until we need polymers. Second shift. Night shift. This is like morning, afternoon, throughout the middle of the night. In the middle of the night, I was building something Martian. So we really would like to have all, okay, what do we have? Check on everyone else's materials. Get a lot of science. I know you probably don't care, but they're adding the IGN to War Thunder next update along with Heavy Cruisers. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's good. Hopefully, you, you know, I'm going to say this. I want War Thunder to do well with... Can I do like covert ops? Steel drones. Okay. What the? What? What's the Hong Kong? Someone. Someone at my house. Mom. Did mom come to visit without telling me? Hold on, I'm tracking my people. Mom at AVs. Okay. Okay. Mm, shortly. Okay, so yeah, my mom's here. Um, I didn't know she was coming. We'll go nine more minutes. But what do we get? Hold up. Breakthrough. Pour water. That's good. This much to help her review. Scheisse, okay. Yeah, we can... Scheisse's German cursing. We can allow German cursing. But yeah, we're almost a few souls in. Radio. We'll do more. We also need to. Um, Next in our line of contestants is a vocalist by the name of Dave Watson. In addition to being an artist in his own right, do 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 do. Actually, no, now now would be a good time to stop. So let's just save. So my mom doesn't get mad at me. No matter how old you are, a new save game. Call this stream. Oh, Panzer Show two. Because this was the second episode of the Panzer Show. Current language. Uh, so, yep. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching. Um, Surviving Mars. Hope you will. I hope you all do look at the stuff I linked in the description regarding the Christopher Columbus murals at Notre Dame. And uh, that is all. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Until the next one. This is Mikey Derpanginator, signing out. See you, nerds.